Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a volcano update. Christmas Eve, Eve, Thursday, December 23rd, around 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 2021. You're looking at the th the 2D depth with magnitude chart at the Fagradoshval Mountain, where you can see hundreds of quakes over the last 36 hours. Hours of hours. But now, let's talk about Honga Tonga. Honga Tonga entering the fourth day of eruption, and now we have spectacular lightning and horrendous acid rain. Uh, today's update, Honga Tonga volcano in Tonga, ongoing eruption with a plume extending today to 40,000 feet. This is the fourth day. Color code is at red. This is all confirmed on Himawari, and we do have some of that imagery for you uh, in just a moment here. Now, yesterday, a pumice raft was seen from space, so there is a huge amount of pumice now entering the ocean from the eruption at Honga Tonga, and it will be interesting to see how large the island grows of Honga Tonga in Tonga as the eruption progresses. The fourth day, so that's a huge amount of material coming out of this uh, volcano. And it would be interesting to see how large the island is. Well, we can get an idea how large the eruption here uh, with a spectacular composite of imagery, starting with the initial eruption here, followed by some of the Himawari satellites. And enjoy. I can't even imagine what they would be thinking. And now we have the satellite imagery. And that's the stratospheric injection there. So you can see the Isles of Tonga here now are going to be subjected to some acid rain here in the coming days. And that is not good news for people on the island. Honga Tonga has erupted in spectacular fashion. And it is continuing to erupt. Now the latest news from Matangi Tonga Online coming out today. Sulfur and lightning on the fourth day of Honga's eruption. Spectacular photography of massive lightning bolts near the Honga Tonga. Sulfur dioxide emitted from Honga Tonga. Volcano continues to spread over the Hapai, Vavaua, and Nautautopu groups drifting north-northeast at a high altitude of 8 to 14 kilometers. Tonga Geologic Service reported today SO2 detected over the group measured the highest near the Otoma Uma group. If it rains, it warned yesterday that the dust from the eruption and the gas can contain contaminate water tanks. It can result in slightly acidic rainfall, pH of 2.5 to 5, and the acid will typically be dominated by hydrochloric and sulfuric acid arising from the plume of gases and sulfur dioxide. They advised all Tongans to disconnect their water tanks until the eruption ceases. Symptoms of exposure to acid rain are itchiness and skin irritation, blurry and discoloration of vision. And this morning, December 23rd, TGS said that a steam cloud formation from the eruption had reduced significantly from yesterday. Meanwhile, the gaseous white cloud column from the volcano formed an impressive sight on the horizon scene here today after a spectacular lightning display last night. The gaseous emission caused the buildup of cumulonimbus clouds in the erupting region, resulting in spectacular lightning throughout the evening and night. So there'll be more spectacular lightning shots Coming from this eruption, I am quite sure, including this one, which is quite a boom. Now, over to Iceland. 
and the update on the Fall Mountain, the Kroshevik, Krolegnya volcano eruption, which had been going on for months and had then ceased for three months, but now there's an uptick. And according to IcelandGeology.net, there are now three centers where the earthquake activity is happening the first one is north of the large crater the second one is under the main crater and the third one is at the nathagarika about southwest of the large crater this is the area where people used to walk up to the eruption on paths a and b and according to icelandgeology.net an eruption is going to happen soon and according to the seismos, well, something is better pop, something better blow. A lot's been going on. It took days prior to the last fissure to erupt here with seismicity like this. And now we are just entering um, the second day of activity. So this is actually what you're looking at here is two days. And it's been quite active for 36 hours. Spectacularly. And there doesn't seem to be any lull in activity. It's going up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. Now, let's look at earthquakes today in the region near Fagradosval. And we can see that in the past 24 hours, the volcano was shaken by one quake of magnitude 4.0. And that's going to be this one right here. 12 quakes between 3 and 4 and 133 quakes between 2 and 3. There were also 28 quakes below 2 magnitude. And there they are on the subsurface graph. Depth is here. 10 kilometers and above seems to be where they're all gathering here. The cluster is between 3 and 8 kilometers. And now there is some deeper activity here, which could be some vents coming from deep in the mantle here, supplying this upper magma chamber. They do have thermals on the surface, and they are seeing a heat signature of magma just below the surface. So based on everyone's accounts it should go boom soon and here we are live at the volcano in glendengala where still no eruption can be seen this guy fell asleep over here <laughs> with his camera so they're keeping a close eye on the seismicity and all of the locations where the volcano may begin erupting so you could spend your whole day staring at a square, if that's what you so desire. <laughs> a lot of wind out there, and that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. I hope you got something out of the video. There are multiple volcanoes that we're interested in. There is acid rain falling on Tonga, a pumice raft in the ocean near Tonga, and, well, spectacular lightning happening from Honga Tonga as we await what appears to be the inevitable eruption of the Reykjanes Peninsula. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people and be safe. That's a boom to knowledge. <laughs>